Right, hello, hi. Uh, my name is Pete Smith. Uh, I'm from England and I I live in uh, Suzinji, Kumoto. I've been here for a long time now, 25 years pretty much. Yeah, nice what, what brought you to Japan in the first place? Why did you come here? Um, curiosity more than anything, yeah. So I love traveling and so I've been like to lots of places in uh, Europe. So France, Germany, Switzerland and just the... Uh, uh, the next stage is going to the next continent, Japan. So that's kind of why I came here. Yeah. I see. Uh, and how long have you been here? 25 years. Wow. Counting, yes. That's a long time. It is. It's a long time and it gets longer every year. Yeah. So it's, uh, it is strange. But, you know, but most people around, you know, uh, like so many people like me who've been here for 25, 30 years, it's, uh, it really is amazing. Yeah. So what kind of problems have you uh, faced while you were here in Japan? Uh, problems, well, nothing really. It's been very nice. That's why I'm still here, you know. It's just been a very, very nice uh, time. It's a nice, good place to live. Um, there aren't really any problems, you know. So there's lots of problems in England uh, with, like, you know, with work or with, you know, maybe things being not so safe. But in Japan, it's just a nice, safe, good place. What problems? Um, yeah, no, I, I'm really hard to think of any problems at all, I guess, you know. Communication, of course, you know, it takes a while to, like, uh, to be able to, to communicate. Uh, but even there, you know, it's fairly, fairly easy to, to reach a level where you could talk to, to most people, I think. Can you give me one thing that's your biggest love about Japan? Um, well, two. Can I, can I do two things? Sure. Is that okay? So first love is not particularly Japan. First love is the city of Kumamoto. So that's, I just love this city. It's not too big. It's not too small. There's mountains all around. I love mountains. So uh, it just suits me absolutely fine. Before I came to Kumamoto, I lived in a, a big city in uh, like in Kanto. And that didn't really suit me at all. So, yeah, so number one is Komoto. And the second thing, uh, food. Food, you know, it's just, it's wonderful. Everyone says Japanese food is some of the best in the world. And yeah, it really is, you know. So when I go back to England, as I try to do for two weeks every year, then I miss Japanese food. When I come back here, I'm really happy to be sitting in, uh, like, uh, going to the sushi bar or, or somewhere and just enjoying like, lots of delicious Japanese. I agree. <laughs> uh, is there anything you don't like about Japan? Um, of course, the, the the worst thing, of course, is the disasters. I said, <laughs> I said like, Japan's a safe place, but sometimes when you get like earthquakes, like we had one just last week, which was a scary reminder mm. of that one six years ago. Um, so earthquakes are not my favorite thing. Typhoons also, you know, can be a little bit scary. Um, and just in general, the, the heat in the summer. I'm, you can see, I'm an uh, English, English boy. I like cold weather. So in Japan, when, when we get to June, then we got, what, three, four months of really hot weather. And if we didn't have the air conditioner, then I would say goodbye, Japan. I love your food. I love the mountains, but I don't want to die of the heat. So thanks to the air conditioners, then I can survive in Japan. Great, great. Thanks for your time today. Okay, nice talking to you. See ya.